drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos hello students my name is neeti seed and thanks for watching edupedia world videos my topic for the presentation is the eighth section of the chapter internal morphology of flowering plants students that is anatomy of angiosperms in this section of the video we will discuss about the phloem okay which is a complex permanent tissue i have already taught you a complex permanent tissue that is uh, xylem now we will discuss about the phloem phloem as we know it transports food material usually from leaves to the other parts of the plant body phloem in angiosperms is composed of sieve tube elements companion cells phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers students okay so let's see what it is bast and leptome it conduct prepared organic food material to different parts of the plant body there are four types of cells first is your sieve cells sieve cells or sieve tubes okay now what is that sieve cells they are very simple and they are found in less advanced vascular plants such as seedless vascular plants and gymnosperms these cells they connect together to create a network that allows for the transport of food students okay so this is uh, your sieve cell or the sieve tubes okay and this is your companion cell companion cell uh, they are specialized parenchymate cells which are closely associated with sieve tube elements students okay now comes phloem fibers phloem fibers they are phloem fibers are also known as bast fibers they are made up of sclerenchymate cells sclerenchymate cells means dead cells these are generally absent in primary phloem but they are found in secondary phloem these are much elongated and branched and they have pointed needle like apices the cell wall of phloem fibers is quite thick at maturity these fibers they lose their protoplasm and they become dead phloem fibers of zoot flax and hemp they are used commercially okay the first formed primary phloem it consists of narrow uh, sieve tube and it is referred as proto uh, phloem and the later formed phloem has bigger sieve tubes and they are referred as meta phloems okay so we saw sieve tubes and sieve cells companion cells phloem fibers okay which are also known as bast fibers okay which is made up of sclerenchymate cells and they are generally absent in primary phloem um but they are found in secondary phloem okay and then comes your phloem parenchyma okay phloem parenchyma students it is made up of elongated tapering cylindrical uh, cells uh it is sometimes uh, oval cells also and spherical cells also which have dense cytoplasm and nucleus okay the cell wall is composed of uh, thin cellulose okay and uh, has uh, pits through which plasmodesmetal uh, connection exist between the two cells okay the phloem parenchyma it stores food material and other substances like raisins latex and mucilage okay phloem parenchyma is absent in most of the monocotyledonous okay so this is the transfer section of the phloem where we have seen the four types of the cells such as sieve cells sieve tubes companion cells and uh, your phloem fibers and phloem parenchyma too okay so first we will see about the sieve cells which is also known as sieve tube elements okay 
see this is the diagrammatic representation of a sieve cell that they are elongated they are tubular cells with the tapering ends as you can see okay and it is the main food conducting tissue in pteridophytes and gymnosperms okay now comes your sieve tube elements students sieve tube elements they are long they are tube like structure as you can see that it it is a tube like structure which is arranged longitudinally and they are associated with the companion cell please note that this sieve tube element it is associated with the companion cell their end walls see these are the end walls okay they are arranged to, uh, or they are perforated in a sieve like manner to form the sieve plate a mature sieve element possesses peripheral cytoplasm and large vacuole but it lacks a nucleus the function of the sieve tube they are controlled by the nucleus of the companion cells because companion cell is closely associated with the sieve tube elements students okay and please note as i told you that uh, the wall of a uh, you know the end walls are perforated of this uh, sieve tube elements in a sieve like manner to form a sieve plate so what are sieve plate students sieve plates they are the areas of the phloem with large pores as you can see see it has large pores these openings they allow for the food products to get into and out of the phloem for the transport of different areas of the plant okay so this is the elongated tubular conducting channel okay they have sieve plate see this is the sieve plates at their end walls because uh, they have large pores so these openings they allow for the food products to get into and out of the phloem for transport to different areas of the plant so this is the main significance of the sieve plate students okay and sieve tubes they are associated with your uh, companion cells okay as i told you so the function of the sieve tubes they are controlled by the nucleus of the companion cells your companion cells they are see this is the companion cells and its nucleus it controls the sieve tube okay so uh, companion cells they are specialized parenchymatous cells which are closely associated with the sieve tube see this is uh, sieve tube and this is companion cell okay uh, they work in conjunction with each other okay and uh, the sieve tube elements and companion cells they are connected by pit field present between their common longitudinal wall the companion cell they help in maintaining the pressure gradient in the sieve tube see that's why they work in conjunction with each other see this is companion cell this is the nucleus of the companion cell and this is the sieve uh, tube so the companion cell it helps in uh, uh, maintaining the pressure gradient of uh, uh, in the sieve tube okay sieve tubes they are characteristic features of angiosperms students okay now comes companion cells as i have told you companion cells uh, uh, they are they work in conjunction with the sieve tube okay and sieve tubes they are more advanced than sieve cells and they are found in flowering vascular plants which are called as angiosperms so your sieve tubes they have specialized cells called companion cells which is located near them these companion cells they carry out energy consuming metabolic activities for the sieve tube elements which improve the efficiency of the phloem companion cells they are derived from parenchyma cells which are a type of a ground tissue in plant so this is your sieve tube and this is your companion cell which works in the association with the sieve tube so this is the protoplasm of the companion cell this is the large nucleus okay uh, and this nucleus it controls uh, the sieve tube elements okay 
and the companion cells they help in maintaining the pressure gradient in the sieve tube which is this one okay this is sieve tube and this is companion cell a uh, companion cell uh, wall is very thin in nature and this is sieve tube as I told you. Companion cells they originate from the same meristem that give rise to sieve tube elements. Okay. So these are the simple pits that allow things to exchange that control the functioning of the sieve tube because this is the nucleus of the companion cells which uh, controls the sieve tube which is this okay and it also uh, helps in maintaining the pressure gradient in the sieve tube okay it is found in angiosperms gymnosperms and pteridophytes students okay sorry uh, sorry it is found only in angiosperms not in gymnosperms and not in pteridophytes okay companion cell is the only characteristics of angiosperms students now uh, the third category is your phloem fibers phloem fibers uh, and phloem parenchyma okay these are the two uh, types of the fibers okay so the phloem fiber is also known as bast fiber they may they are made up of sclerenchymatous cells these are generally absent in primary phloem but they are found in secondary phloem okay so let's see uh, first we'll see about the xylem uh, sorry phloem fiber okay this is how uh, that they are sclerenchymatous elongated cells they are have a lignified cells with the simple pits as I told you and uh, they provide mechanical support to the plant body that is the main function of the phloem fibers and they help in making ropes and the rough clothes okay so this is what phloem fiber is that it is made up of sclerenchymatous cells hence it is dead in nature okay and these are generally absent in primary phloem but they are found in secondary phloem these are much elongated, unbranched and they have pointed needle-like apices. The cell wall of the phloem fiber is quite thick, okay, because of the lignin. At maturity, these fibers, they lose their protoplasm and thus they become dead. That's why we call it as the sclerenchymatous cells. Phloem fibers of jute, flax and hemp, they are used commercially. Okay. So this was all about phloem fibers. Now comes your phloem uh, parenchyma. Okay. Now what is that students? See, they are parenchymatous cells. Hence, they are living in nature. Okay. Phloem um, this is the first formed primary phloem which consists of narrow sieve tubes and it is referred as proto phloem and the later formed phloem has a bigger sieve tube and it is referred as meta phloem okay it is absent in monocot it is stores and transport food material okay so this was all about a complex permanent tissue that is your phloem now in my next section of the presentation we will discuss about the tissue system in detail so till then stay tuned and keep watching edipedia world videos thank you mm -hmm.